Hi everyone, uh, Professor Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, our main subject today is about uh, using thermal uh, photovoltaics and uh, photovoltaic without thermal uh, beside the aid of uh, horizontal axis wind turbine for uh, electricity and uh, water uh, heating processes for dom domestic applications. First of all, open your MATLAB, okay, this is your MATLAB, and go to your destination folder from here, from this bus, okay, this is my hard drive, this is my working folder, so uh, this is my working folder that I put my uh, model here, so I can go here, okay, and this one, this is my working folder, don't open your model from uh, desktop, okay, and click here in order to... Um, uh, organize by sort by name and group by type so you will find your uh, files and data are stored here and figures don't move any of this okay any of this content don't try to, re to remove it or to delete it okay it, it, it may disturb your um, uh, graphical interface of your system so we have two options here in uh, photovoltaic photovoltaic thermal and horizontal water turbine let's begin from the first one okay double clicking okay this one uh, is going it's about utilizing or combining three different uh, uh, processes photovoltaic only for electrical power generation and we have photovoltaic with electrical power generation beside water heating tubes inside and we have uh, horizontal axis wind turbine okay uh, you can set your simulation time into zero okay and this this one is this model is only uh, a single point uh, uh, it's about a single point solution okay just a second okay adjusting my uh, uh, position okay uh, this one is a single point uh, solution so you will you will get your result um, there's going to be uh, just one solution one single solution uh, so uh, if you double click here okay uh, we need to set some uh, our operating conditions here this one is depending on your uh, operating conditions uh, what is my solar radiation because this is basically uh, uh, the system is is going to working or to be or to be uh, depending on and we have what is your solar radiation limit <clears throat> and what is your average wind speed limit okay so we have a controller inside so this one is the, we should decide here this is your solar radiation so by removing this uh, we can decide what is uh, our solar radiation uh, instantly what per meter square okay and we have solar radiation limit in this one i am going to um, to adjust my system or to set up my system to work uh, um, above this limit if the solar radiation within the range of 400 watt per meter square we are going to operate the photovoltaic system if not, we are uh, we are uh, mainly depending on uh, wind turbines or uh, batteries. So, if is it if is it um, four hundred or five hundred? Suppose I would like to operate my system over uh, for five hundred watt per meter square, and uh, solar radiation. I'm I'm sorry, uh, wind speed. What is your average wind speed? Um, for my location, suppose it's average unit speed, it's, it's about uh, 5 or, uh, or, or 8 uh, meter per second. So, and my limitation is, if the system is uh, equal or above, uh, for example, uh, uh, 4 meter per second, we should utilize uh, uh, wind speed or wind turbine system. If it is not, if there is no solar radiation, as you can see, 300 and our limit is 500. So, uh, and if it is not, or if there is no, uh, if there is no uh, existence of wind energy, so we are going to use battery. Okay, let's go for. Suppose I set my limits for uh, 712 meter square, middle of, middle of the day. Okay, let's go inside here. We can serve our menu from here okay this is our uh, uh, click here okay so we have here 
uh, wind turbine system, photovoltaic system, photovoltaic with, for uh, electricity and water heating, and battery. You can adjust some uh, input parameters. Let's double clicking or each one. For wind, wind turbine, uh, because this is a performance model, so we already have as a design specifications. What is your um, air pressure, uh, wind speed? We, I, I disable this one because we have, we have to control it from outside the main block. And what is your site elevation? Okay, it's up to your design. Uh, wind turbine specification. For maximum performance, I, I do prefer uh, 30 percent, uh, or based on your uh, module. What is your rotor diameter? Suppose I have a rotor diameter for uh, uh, lower uh, specification. Okay, we suppose I have 10 meters diameter. Number of, of wind turbines, suppose I have five wind turbines. Mechanical efficiency should be assigned. Uh, rotational loss for the generator, rotational loss should be assigned. Uh, power lag factor should be assigned. Your voltage, do, uh, what is your voltage that should be developed by the by your module? Okay, and this one is battery bank for uh, for the horizontal wind turbine. If you would like to uh, depend on okay for uh, uh, system storage, okay, and hit apply. Okay, let's go for photovoltaic system. We have here. We should assign uh, uh, also I, I disabled solar addition from here because uh, it is from the mother block uh, um, temperature of the photo cell okay and uh, we have open circuit voltage what is your open open circuit voltage uh, short circuit coefficient uh, electron discharge or charge uh, band gap uh, what is your type is it uh, polycrystalline, monocrystalline? Uh, uh, you can select this for identity factor. This is your identity factor type. And uh, packing factor, fill factor, resistance. Uh, so, um, resistance, it should be, uh, as I think, 1.5, as I think. Okay. Uh, number of cells, uh, number in series, cells in parallel, almost one. Number of modules, if you are going to uh, produce larger uh, power capacity, let it be uh, 500 modules, for example. Uh, this is your cell area in meter square. Okay. The same for uh, photovoltaic performance. However, we have to assign our uh, input uh, mass flow rate and uh, uh, water temperature early to the system. So, uh, wind speed for uh, losses, this one is um, uh, for the glass cover, because we are going to uh, calculate the glass cover uh, losses. Elite water temperature to the system, normal, we are going to uh, preheat this water uh, flow rate. Mass flow rate, it depends on the area of your or, uh, system. For larger area, you have to increase this one, larger area needs a uh, uh, larger mass flow rate. You have to adjust this uh, carefully. And uh, we have here uh, open circuit voltage. It's the same for uh, for ideality factor uh, resistance, 1.5, I think. And ideality factor, uh, backing factor, uh, number of sales. And if, if is it um, a PCM storage? This one, there is um, some kind of uh, paraffin wax or some kind of, of this. Uh, uh, you can change your type by uh, by using similar conductivity of your uh, uh, paraffin. Or, uh, but I, I do prefer no, n not the use of PCM in order to increase uh, the outlet temperature, larger uh, outlet temperature, PCM thickness and uh, some performance parameters such as emissivity of the plate because there is a plate inside uh, emissivity of the glass cover and absorptivity of uh, the glass cover uh, this should be uh, okay this is our system okay you can serve inside this this is your output for wind turbine we average wind speed as the blades axial forces torque bar coefficient 
mechanical power uh, output generator power and this is your net developed power and this is total farm power because we have uh, many modules many, uh, we, okay generator current torque battery and per hour in case of using uh, battery inside the, uh, uh, the wind turbine modules and you can access your code from here just double clicking on your block and you can access your uh, your code uh, what is your photon current module current uh, saturation uh, photo maximum power output a total power based on total area of your module the same for thermal but this is this one is little bit complicated little bit because we are we have to uh, calculate glass cover temperature blade temperature mean blade temperature outlet water temperature and so on okay battery for battery i think we need to what is your output power from the battery battery storage battery and per hour battery load okay that's it run at the, at the that single point in, in this one we, we need to utilize maximum power output uh, it's up to you you can create your control this is this one this yellow bar is your controller you can uh, uh, put a, um, uh, your um, own conditions you can consider your own conditions uh, in this one it's up to you uh, for this one I, I, I have choose that I um, I would like to extract the maximum output from all of these parameters or from um, all of these units so I I select max from here from model browser okay going to I think in mass operation uh, I can uh, I can't yes minimum and maximum okay so this one this this one will adjust my output I, I choose to to utilize maximum power and to differentiate between uh, these four units okay let's saving our model and hit run okay uh, based on, on my operating conditions okay and we have to to see okay so this is my output power okay let's go inside the horizontal wind turbine nothing because my option is to utilize only photovoltaic or solar systems uh, this is my so you can increase here this is this power gauge you can increase this by double clicking on the gauge and you can increase the maximum gauge limit or range okay uh, you can increase this one total power okay okay let it be uh, 250 for example I'm sorry okay saving uh, you can obtain this gauge from here uh, you can dashboard okay and you can drag and drop a quarter gauge if you would like uh, okay so uh, for this one okay outlet temperature okay outlet temperature is raised from 25 degrees Celsius up to 61 mm, this is so good okay so as you can see here this is output power uh, it, it's output power from um, the thermal photovoltaic is much less than the only photovoltaic because uh, uh, some part of this power uh, is going to be transferred to uh, the, the water side so uh, the energy balance uh, you have to check your energy balance so uh, there is no output power from here okay almost dead suppose i would like to uh, use uh, a horizontal wind turbine suppose there is no uh, solar radiation okay beyond this one so let's check our uh, wind turbine let's check our wind turbine okay this is our output okay it's uh, about uh, 27 uh, uh, kilowatt of power you can increase this by controlling your specifications suppose I have you can you may increase your uh, diameter or number of uh, of, of units uh, let's check here the power developed this is total farm power is 27 let's hit uh, and see 
okay massively increased because we increase the number of units so it is um, expected uh, to raise up so uh, suppose I don't have uh, uh, wind okay the wind uh, wind uh, wind speed is lower than my uh, expectations so battery should serve uh, our system let's set run and see this is manually controlled so uh, suppose I, I would like to ease battery power is about uh, 50 kilowatt of power okay uh, suppose I would like to change this and uh, uh, move toward this uh, um, automatic controller or I would like to uh, change my specifications automatically based on the variation of uh, operating conditions such as uh, changing on uncertainty in solar radiation and uncertainty in uh, uh, in wind speed so uh, let's therefore I I have to close this one and I have you can find your result output here how can I get my output here uh, you can by two solutions you can uh, use go to the uh, sinks and try to use save your mat or workspace this one but if you drag this one here suppose I would like to uh, to inspect my low power connect here double clicking and change it to uh, load uh, load power one more and it is uh, array use array and hit apply and saving and if you hit run your model you will find this one with the same name saved to workspace here uh, load power uh, yes this one yes you can drag and drop and you can save this in excel sheet if you would like uh, suppose i would like to um, use uh, not use this block you can go in here model browser this one okay model i'm sorry model explorer and click here one click and going here and for example uh wind turbine wind turbine these are your your input and output parameter just select your whatever you would like okay for example and click description and save final value to workspace and hit apply here you'll find your uh your results story for example this is m air okay mass flow rate of your yes this one this is mass flow rate of your uh, um, because there is no result for wind uh, at this uh, example so okay let's go automatically a little bit okay I have another option second version let's double clicking here uh, let's close this this saving okay never mind okay this one uh, I created uh, a signal so I, I I would like to change my expectations or my outputs this one should be run in uh, dynamic mode a little bit it, it is not dynamic mode but you, you can consider it um, a real time simulation so I there is no need for this okay there is no need for this okay okay because I, I, I will control the system by an output signal so I close this this is your solar radiation input so I uncomment it if you click here you will uncomment click here to comment I, there is no effect from the mother block if I try to change this there is no effect so it is better for you to uh, right click here go into the mask edit mask and going to the parameters okay solar radiation and make it uh, enable no disable and average wind speed disable this one also okay there is no meaning okay double clicking as you can see here uh, let's shrink it uh, maximize a little bit I'm um, sorry you realize there is no you can control this um, there's no it is disabled all of this uh, uh, these two parameters are disabled there's no only your um, solar radiation limit we need these two parameters okay solar radiation and with the speed limits 
this is my controller the limits is going the limits are going to tell us that the, your system is not working beyond these limits okay first of all less saving suppose i would like to uh, send my result to data inspector and to draw some figures so all we have to do is to I would like to inspect the output load from wind, the output load from photovoltaic, output load from BVT, and the, the, the uh, battery and uh, load power. Okay. So what I am going to do is to send my result to data inspector. All you have to do is to highlight all of these signals. Okay. And going here and click to. Uh, currently, I will stop this. Okay, but you have highlight this and click here stream selected signals to data inspector you will click and you will file a small visualized uh, uh, square uh, this one uh, 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 telling us that your your signal or this signal is sent to data inspector for uh, inspectations for inspection okay uh, let's go for I, I did the same for all my signal I would like to draw or to examine as you can see here for photovoltaic it's the same I did I did the same for all okay or you will find you click here and you realize this is small square if I click it I, I, I removed it and click again and that I will send to that to inspection okay so in this one, in this controller, I am combining all my uh, results. There is no minimum or maximum. Uh, this one, this is scope. You can uh, find it here from the sink. This one, this one, scope. Okay, and right click here. I'm sorry. You can right click here, and I think properties. No, not for me. This is just double clicking. And right click here and you can choose your style your uh, configuration parameters from here it's up to you okay and I set my simulation time to 24 hours okay so my input signal which are solar radiation and uh, wind speed should be in 24 hours let's go here and uh, double clicking I will create my signal my own signal so this is my own signal I suppose that I have a, 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 a shape like this for solar radiation okay you can control this by yourself you can uh, uh, increase or decrease it's up to you okay I have suppose I have this shape for wind speed it's up to you okay okay uh, I create this by my by my own self. I, I, I just supposed uh, that I have this data. So uh, how can I uh, I create this? First of all, say, say, click axis, uh, change the time range. You should be the same as the simulation time of your model. This is from one to twenty four. From where? From here. Click here, and uh, let's go for uh, yes start time is one uh, and time is 24 so in signal builder where can i i get this i'm sorry where can i get this this one should be obtained from here sources not saying sources and i can create my own signal this one signal builder you can drag and drop you have many sources of signal you can depend on go, depend on it's up to you but I, 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 I do prefer to create my own signal by myself. So signal builder, okay. So I create this one. Okay, how can, after setting your, uh, your uh, time range, click on signal, suppose I would like to create a new one. Uh, for example, create constant step, uh, it's up to you. For example, constant. So it will give me another signal here. Okay, and I can hold shift shift and create on uh, adding uh, more points by myself and I can create this by, by myself okay for example 
and I can name the signal from here. Okay, uh, there is no need for this one. Okay, and let's delete this. Yes. Okay. So I have. I, you can uh, also um, arrange your signal index. What is your index? I would like to uh, signal one should be solar radiation and signal two should be wind uh, speed and close this one here okay so I connected this so solar radiation wind speed okay and this is your operating conditions so my my input data which are solar radiation and limits on wind speed and and their limits uh, would be sent to each of these and let's go for example in my horizontal wind turbine uh, okay based on my uh, 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 my conditions or my assumption uh, I uh, the limit uh, the system will run uh, and compare your results let's double clicking and hit apply from here to see what is going on as you can see here uh, at the beginning okay yes for example as you can see I, 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 I can't remember this is the variation of your power uh, I can't remember the colors I have to uh, uh, you can print your display figure okay that's going for configurations and uh, limits for uh, I think this one style yes maybe in style okay uh, load in uh, in yellow yes load one which is uh, I think wind speed okay is in yellow and we have here uh, load two is in blue which is I think uh, photovoltaic yes and the third one is I think is uh, red which is thermal photovoltaic and the green is your battery okay so as you can see here uh, at the beginning based on my uh, signal uh, uh, signal inputs we have uh, uh, battery and there is no battery at all because uh, the wind speed is uh, has uh, better existence and then we have the uh, the solar radiation as you can see here start at maybe um, nine and nine and a half clock uh, so fo solar photovoltaic and solar thermal photovoltaic both uh, are responsible for the uh, power and ho uh, water heating uh, uh, production uh, with a slightly uh, existence to the uh, wind speed as a middle of the day and then we have there is no um, sufficient power from the wind and from the solar so the battery is in work and then there is no uh, as, as the wind speed will continue uh, uh, the power supply uh, to the end of your day okay suppose I would like to uh, uh, change this along one year for example okay how can I uh, extract my result click here on this one firstly let's go here for going to uh, one day okay you will find your result here okay I, I will click here for example and delete all I will delete all and start start over again okay that's saving with a new run okay that's it okay As you can see here, system is running. Okay, let's close this one. Okay, how can I extract this? You can send this to a figure if you'd like, or from here, data inspector. Uh, let's go for data inspector. This, these are your outputs that you already highlighted. Signal, uh, for example, horizontal wind turbine load. That's the load on your horizontal wind turbine. Uh, the signal input okay suppose I would like to add more uh, slots you can add more slots from here okay horizontal wind turbine uh, you can uh, let's go for photovoltaic wind turbine mm. you can search you from here for load on for thermal photovoltaic 
and uh, I would like to inspect load on uh, uh, photovoltaic yeah photovoltaic power I think this one yes yeah, this one okay the same result you can inspect uh, uh, for example outlet water temperature variation the water outlet okay uh, this is PV thermal uh, photon current uh, PV thermal uh, total power okay PV thermal power fluctuating useful energy and uh, for example battery power okay uh, a current of uh, a generator current okay torque and uh, battery ampere hour number of batteries uh, spacing uh, okay uh, axial force on wind turbine torque in uh, torque in newton meters power coefficient i think it's constant yes wind power mechanical power okay so and you can send this to a figure you click send to a figure here okay and click here click uh, oh, uh, plot tools and i can change my let's see to a jet white background okay so uh, hold shift and click on uh, all of these and we need uh, this is my time by hour okay and uh, you can change your figure based on your uh, 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 on what is your font style uh, times in your roman okay so you can change uh, your time uh, your lines for example let it be a uh, thickness of your line uh, okay well, it's up to you you can change the legend from here you can you can do what you, whatever you would like what is this one uh, you can drag and drop here I think here I think okay or IPV okay anyway so you can use MATLAB tools in order to uh, extract your output result uh, uh, based on your uh, uh, inputs. Uh, okay, suppose I have another idea. Uh, let's delete all. Okay, uh, I have another idea. The second idea is to uh, use this one sources and sinks. I'm sorry, sink and sink to workspace. Okay, suppose I would like to change some input parameters. Let's go for from here. I would like to uh, inspect the number of battery. Okay, number of battery. What I, I, I'm going to, to do with this one. Okay, this one is just an example. Okay, uh, or diameter, rotor diameter. I, I would like to inspect. One, uh, firstly, you can use this one. You can copy this one copy this one here alone and another model and put it here and you can use operating conditions as well you can use this one copy it and put it here I'm sorry so we can uh, Inspect only horizontal wind turbine without any need of your uh, uh, solar radiation. Okay, you can inspect your. Uh, let's click here and show some. Uh, okay, let's go inside. Uh, suppose I would like to inspect my number of wind turbine effect on my system. Uh, let's do this. Set your simulation time into. Uh, 24 from 1 up to 24 click here at apply click OK and uh, uh, let's see if I have something like this 
uh, for example uh, okay but this one needs a uh, sync display and this one okay and we can write here double click on the signal and write horizontal wind turbine uh, power load in kilowatt don't add semicolon or or colon okay okay and highlight and send to data inspector and double clicking on this gauge and highlight your uh, signal and click here and set your limits suppose it's a 500 hit apply and choose bottom and okay uh, I would like to uh, change my uh, my th this one I would like to change this one what I should I, I can do here you have to uh, click on the signal or you can do this uh, sources okay signal builder okay and remove this one control X and control V here comment it and create your signal suppose you have a number of uh, axes it's from uh, the same axis it's from 1 to 24 okay okay and I would like to change my uh, number of uh, wind turbine uh, units for example I have this uh, I would like to see the effect on my power okay just um, uh, random numbers okay okay I would like to see and close this one let's check again okay and let's hit run and see oh, okay okay I have to use this outside this okay control X and put it here and I would like to use another input go to the source input here this number two okay and going out here okay if you right click here edit mask and opaque with ports okay hit apply order to recognize which input you are going to uh, attach with okay let's move here and I'm trying I think it should be saved saved as any okay I'm trying let's try this on I think uh, when the speed limit yes uh, this one uh, okay okay this one should be assigned in uh, okay I think when the speed here yes average wind speed I think uh, this one should be removed okay a solar radiation there is no need for this one uh, I'm sorry solar radiation limit should be removed and average wind speed limit should be removed and hit apply okay these two are, is not existed here I think it should be work yes so this is your effect on your uh, the effect on a uh, 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 number of units it's just an example uh, let's see the power the power is fluctuating and based on your the uh, wind speed beside the existence uh, of uh, uh, number of units okay let's close this one and I, I would I, I would like to use this anymore okay let's delete it okay delete this one okay let's turn back suppose I would like to uh, change this um, along one year for example uh, suppose I um, so you have many options you have many options uh, the first options is to set this value along one year hourly daily monthly it's up to you if it's months 
you have to set your solution time into 12 months and give an average value per month. Okay, it is not 24, it, it, uh, it is going to be from 1 up to 12. Suppose I have to, to do this hourly, so uh, it is hard for me uh, to create a signal uh, uh, such as like this. So all you have to do is to go in, uh, I have created this one. Operate this Excel sheet, okay, double clicking. Okay, and put this uh, sheet in uh, inside your uh, model folder. Uh, okay, this is my model folder. Okay, and here you are. This is your Excel sheet. Pretty conditions data. Click here. Okay, so if you drop it here, uh, let's see, it will open here. And uh, yes, okay, you will find the following one year results. This is one year results one year okay and uh, winter and summer okay and uh, this is one day in winter for example and this is one day in summer okay uh, let's see if i am trying to connect this i'm trying let's close this one so i create this uh, before i, or, I already uh, prepared it before okay this is one year results almost uh, okay as you can see here Okay, so this is my time. You have to consider three columns. Your time, solar radiation, and wind speed. Uh, for winter, th this is 24 hours. Time, uh, solar radiation, global horizontal radiance, and uh, wind speed. Uh, just an example. I would like to see the effect of this on my system. Let's saving and close this one. How can I use this? Let's try and um, I'm thinking, let's save this one, let's save this one, save as, suppose it's uh, version 3, uh, okay, version 3, okay, and save, and I would like to remove signal builder, there's no signal builder, I, okay, I, I, I would like to use another thing, it should be uh, from, yes, from spreadsheet, this one. Okay, drag and drop here. And I would like to um, uh, double clicking. You have to consider the same name of your file. Let's consider the same name. Uh, I will copy it. Uh, Control C. Okay. And put it here. I'm sorry, put it here. Yes. I, I will name it as. Uh, for operating conditions conditions okay double clicking and I will put it here control V okay and hit apply uh, what is your sheet number one I think sheet number one uh, I can't remember I have to double click in here let's see here okay sheet number one is one year sheet number two is winter sheet number three is summer let's go for one day for example let's go for one day summer time and uh, uh, i would like to see or oh, one year let's go for one year and see i think it's uh, okay uh, I, yes I, I will double click and copy this and let's go here okay this is my sheet number one i will copy this one okay it will make your int, uh, automatically will interpolation ex extrapolation and do everything and uh, hit apply okay because it's a huge file okay so now we have here solar radiation and solar radiation and wind speed impressive let's control this control x and put it here control uh, here control uh, v and and close this one i will attach my inputs let's attach this one okay so i connected um, what is your time limitations I, 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 let's go here and make it variable step my my time is from one one year is eight thousand seven hundred 
68 of hours and um, maximum step size let it be 10 because it, it it will take much time as i think so okay uh, if we have here i think it may take take a lot of time <laughs> uh, let's see i'm trying uh, what is your solar radiation limit mm, i think solar radiation limit let it be uh, Let's begin from 300 and when the speed should be start at uh, at 2 maybe 2 is 2 meter per second or 3 meter per second okay uh, just an example and uh, saving I'll try I have nothing to lose let's run and see it may take uh, a lot of time okay your x axis is your rear oh okay 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 as you can see here the green one is battery's time along the year um the yellow one is your wind turbine and almost the the whole year is operated by uh, photovoltaic and the red one is your photovoltaic thermal as you can see here uh, very good okay suppose I would like to run a, a, a summer day summer you have to write type it the same as the, uh, the name of your sheet hold click apply and this is one day in summer as I think yes summer okay just an example okay no 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 sun rays sun rays okay and end of the day okay let's go inside and see if i can uh, double clicking here and hit run saving let's see if i can do it let us think a step time i'm sorry step time should be lower than this yes I forget to adjust my step time uh, make it auto again because it's uh, limited uh, just uh, uh, I'm sorry this is 24 hours I forget everything yes this one day so it is 24 hours uh, one day and uh, let it be run okay let's see one day mm. i think this is um there is almost no battery because we have plenty of uh, wind speed and solar radiation and this is the variation of your uh of your uh, thermal uh, uh, photovoltaic you can extract your output temperature also you can extract this one outlet temperature maybe uh, you can dashboard here and you can drag and drop this one and double clicking and my my list be 100 degrees Celsius select this one outlet hot water temperature T water out bottom okay hit apply and see um, let it be I'm trying to use this uh, dashboard scope also if it work it will be nice double clicking T water out T double oh it is not working with this one okay no no problem no problema okay saving it apply is it will fluctuate along the day up and down up and down little bit okay uh, you can draw it from the inspector if you like from here T water out was this is plate temperature yes glass temperature and water out yes the red one red one is, is little bit uh, lower of course than the plate temperature as you can see here okay and uh, this is our main uh, output result uh, suppose I would like to change the uh, limitations 
I would like to, to increase the limits of your uh, the, of the operation of uh, wind. So try to reduce your uh, uh, wind speed, reduce it. Uh, the, the range of uh, all your conditions. Suppose I would like winter. Let's try to compare winter. Winter. Um, okay, I change this one. I hit apply. Okay. And see saving. I think this one uh, uh, battery will 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 have uh, the chance. I think battery should be involved because of yes battery time because we are in winter so as you can see here battery um, little bit uh, you can it's, you can change the range if you'd like you can change you can uh, fit to scale okay as you can see here battery time at the beginning of the day midnight early morning uh, solar and turning back to wind speed take uh, it's a chance here and return it back again and you can uh, find your output here okay this one okay okay uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your uh, interesting moment don't forget to uh, like uh, share uh, and uh, subscribe uh, i um, i'm uh, i forget to tell you that you can uh, uh, change your um, I'm sorry you can change your use the sources you can use these sources to inspect uh, uh, for, for example signals especially signal builder uh, in order to get your uh, fluctuating results and uh, simulate uh, the real-time simulation of your model uh, practically to uh, your uh, real one uh, finally, thank you very much for interesting. Don't forget to like, share, uh, and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.